Hello, my name is Chris Hammond. I'm the director of training here at .NET New Corporation. In this brief video, we're going to talk to you about the .NET New homepage. After you've just installed DNN, we'll provide you with some information about what that page consists of and some of the features. So we're going to take a look at our freshly installed .NET Nuke website. We're going to look at some of the common elements on the home page. We're going to talk about how the content is provided through elements on the page, known as modules. Then we'll take a look at how we can log into the website, how we can quickly control the layout through the use of the various modes in the control panel. And we'll also show you how to remove content from the home page. So in this window here, we have a freshly installed .NET Nuke 5.6.0 website. From the top to the bottom, we have a couple of common elements that you're going to find in most .NET Nuke websites, but by no means are they required. So what we have in the top left corner is a placement for a logo. And out of the box, it uses the .NET Nuke community logo. Now .NET Nuke allows you, through the web browser, to go through and customize and change that logo by uploading different files. Now after the logo, we have a, a navigation bar. Currently, there's one page as part of this website. It's the home page. Now there are actually additional pages that once we log in, you'll be able to see we have access to with different permissions. But for now, we have one website or one page on this site that is visible to the average user. Now next to the navigation menu, we have a search option over on the right side where we can do a text-based search of our .NET Nuke website. Beneath the navigation, we have a breadcrumb. It tells you where you are within the site structure. And then over on the right side, we have register and login links. Now after that, we get into the content for our page. Now content in .NET Nuke is provided through what are known as modules. Modules provide a place to store and maintain content and also functionality. The most basic of modules is an HTML module. This particular .NET Nuke homepage has three HTML modules installed on it. We'll be able to pick those out once we get logged in, but I can tell you right now that from this top image down through the four buttons below, ending with training, that is one HTML module and one editable content area. And then from the next red line to the second red line, that is another editable content area. And then finally on the home page here, we have a sponsors area with seven images here that is also provided through an HTML module. Now when we get logged in, we'll be able to go in and modify this content. We'll also be able to control the positioning of the content on the page. Now down below the content, we do have a privacy statement, a terms of use link, and then a copyright statement that's displayed at the bottom of the page as well. Now all of those the links for those and the content that those various pages provide by clicking on privacy or terms of use is editable content within the .NET Nuke system. So if we scroll back to the top now, we'll go ahead and take and log into the website and take a look at what that's going to provide us. Now if we click login, that's going to take us to a login page for .NET Nuke. And out of the box, there are two accounts that are created for .NET Nuke. There is an account called admin, which is an administrator account, and there's an additional account called host, which is a super user account. .NET Nuke has the ability to contain multiple websites within one installation of the platform. Each website has at least one administrator account. Those accounts are tied directly to those individual websites. The host account, or a super user account, has access to all websites. I'm going to go ahead and log in for now as an administrator to this website. Now, because this is a fresh .NET Nuke installation, the first time I log in with the default admin account, it's going to prompt me to change my password. Now, the default username and password for admin is admin and a password of DNN admin. So I need to go ahead and change that password by typing in a new password twice. And I can click change password and that will change the password in .NET Nuke for that administrator account. Now once we're logged in with different access, we now have more information on the page. The top portion of the page, we have a control panel. In a future video, we'll go into more details about what all the various features are within the control panel. Beyond the control panel, if we get into the actual page itself now, in our menu, we have an additional menu item, an admin menu item. And when we mouse over that admin menu item, you can see that there are a number of child pages that show up 
in a submenu caused by mousing over the admin item. Now if we scroll down to where our content is located, we can see that our content now has a title that I've highlighted here. Now next to that title is what's known as an actions menu in .NET Nuke. Those actions menus provide you the ability to get into and maintain content within a specific module. We can see there's an actions menu located here next to where it says .NET New Community Edition. If we scroll down further, there's an additional actions menu just above that first red line. And then finally, next to where it says sponsors, we have a third actions menu. So this, these are the three modules that are currently installed on the home page. Now if we scroll back to the top, at the very top portion of the control panel is a mode option. The mode option allows someone with edit rights on a .NET Nuke website to change the way they're viewing the website. If I click on the view mode, you'll notice the page refreshes and those actions menus that were next to and above the modules are no longer visible because we're now viewing the website as if we were not logged in with admin rights. Now there are still some admin specific things that do show up to us. We see the admin menu and we do still see the control panel, but we're unable to get into the edit modes or edit actions for the individual modules on the page. We can change that by switching back to edit mode in the control panel. The actions menus come back. And we can also switch into a layout mode. Now, the layout mode actually hides the contents on the page. And what it does, it, what it shows you is panes on the page. It's a wireframe kind of a layout. Panes are where we can place modules or place content on a .NET Nuke website. The panes are controlled by the skin. The skin controls the layout, the look and feel of a website. The default skin within .NET Nuke provides five panes available to us. Top pane, left pane, content pane, right pane, and bottom pane. You'll notice that when we switch to the layout mode, we have three modules all installed in the, in the bottom pane. The top pane, left pane, content pane, and right pane don't have any modules in them. And this particular skin is set up so that if there are no modules in those panes, when you are in view or edit mode, the panes collapse and they don't take up any space. But the layout mode shows us where those panes are. And what we can do within .NET Nuke now is start to move modules around to different panes. We can do that by going into the Actions menu. I'm going to take this first module, and I'm going to move it to the top pane. And in the layout mode here, we can see that that module is now visible in the top pane. And if we switch back to either view or edit mode, ultimately, the view to the end user of a website hasn't changed. We still have the first module on top, followed by two additional modules down below. Now if we go back to layout mode, we can also start to move modules around into the three panes that stretch across the middle. Now if we move content into these panes, the positioning and the layout of the content is going to differ. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the module that's here in the middle and we'll move it into the content pane. Now I'm going to take the sponsors module at the bottom and we're going to move that over into the right pane. You can see it's the positioning is starting to come together here. Now if we switch either into view or edit mode, the top portion of the page stays the same, but if we scroll down past that first module, you can see that the other two modules now line up left to right. And because of the width of the content, we are seeing some wrapping that's occurring now within these modules. Now in a future video, we'll go through and show you how you can start working with the content in an HTML module. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and remove one of those modules from our home page. I'm going to do that by scrolling down to the module with the two red lines. I'm going to go to the Actions menu for that module, and I'm going to choose the Delete option. I click Delete. I confirm the delete, and that module has now been removed from this home page. So I encourage you to take a look at some more of our videos and also to check out our .NET Nuke training located at bit.ly slash capital D-N-N capital training dot com. Thanks again for watching.